revision and uh, today um, the episode will be uh, shortened in time just as previous uh, episode as I can't really get over a cold so I'm just uploading from my home and uh, right now recording on a mobile microphone okay so we will uh, just uh, get from market mover section there uh, we'll jump from uh, earnings calendar economic calendar and right over this um, getting finally to the most in interesting um, idea of a trade all right now that may <laughs> get you profit of course all right so let's begin all right so let's get to earnings and right here you have Goldman Sachs that surprised uh, surprised us to the downside um, and uh, its price changed uh, about seven uh, percent to a negative territory um, right after um, uh, today uh, we had Bank of America uh, broadcasted its uh, report, uh, reports and uh, it surprised to the upside um, by um, more or less 8% and it has met with a price change uh, 1.42% um, to a positive territory mm, and also Procter & Gamble um, that's also um, on the radar of um, many of investors that surprised also to a positive uh, territory all right uh, tomorrow however we have um, the very important one of the uh, blue chips stocks earnings to be published that will be Netflix so it's very interesting to see how it will happen on economic calendar however we had um, already on Tuesday DTW economic sentiment um, that um, has turned out to be a uh, positive but uh, I would say um, uh, yeah more about uh, consensus so um, the uh, the economic sentiment is uh, showing us that uh, we are expecting this year to uh, be mm, fine for the industry however uh, as we may find uh, when this liquidity may be taken off the table and also with this um, increasing uh, inflation rates things may change uh, to the negative for lots of entrepreneurs and um, we may find that their mm, uh, sentiment may change radically uh, right after this uh, we had mm, a three month bill auction and six month bill um, auction and um, those mm, um, six months are rising however three months is chopping um, in, a, in a quite tight uh, range right now Okay, on Wednesday, however, on Wednesday we had an um, inflation rate from Canada and it did turn out um, that um, year over year is right now um, peaking, or at least uh, stopping at um, the, this levels. A month over month, however, has uh, slowed down, so it's quite optimistic. And uh, CPI median has uh, even slumped a bit uh, in terms of housing um, uh, on housing starts uh, right now uh, December was very good month uh, so um, uh, investors are not afraid of uh, um, hiking interest rates right now and um, um, just following the path of um, building new houses in terms of tomorrow we obviously have some data from uh, Japan and also very important data from um, Germany as well as European Union and um, eventually from US initial jobless claims and um, existing home sales to be watched. Alright, so in terms of trading the uh, section I have a proposition for you to trade uh, IoT uh, as it's uh, Russell 2000 index, it's one of the uh, most important US indexes um, that contains 2000, um, 2000 um, stocks 
Mm, uh, that is uh, also the equivalent of a, um, I would say, I would say the condition, no, rather indicator of a condition of a broad market on the U.S. side. So Russell 2003 is right now testing this very important last, last support mm, uh, that uh, may uh, lead us if it will get broken may lead us to such a sell-off down to uh, 1700 points so it means uh, there's a huge gap uh, down um, to be filled but right now we are trying to uh, eventually stay in this area where this support should be respected so it's one of the latest supports to be tested uh, I would find that we will still try to rebound from here and to rescue the situation at least for now so I do expect that uh, we'll just try to uh, rebound from uh, this area of uh, 2070 one and uh, right from there we'll just move in a direction of this recent this recent resistance so i do find there is a still possibility of russell 2000 at least for now to recover and uh, mm, stay above this uh, 2000 area points and we should, we should, in terms of um, volume profile and also um, support resistances in the method, uh, stay above in, uh, this this in the level at least um, for few days. Um, respecting this, you may take a in, uh, long position from here with a target of 21.39 with a stop loss been set below um, with a stop loss been set below those uh, hammers oh, this this one hammer uh, exactly been built on the 11th of uh, January and it means there is a risk-reward risk ratio at a level of uh, 3.2 so it's quite favorable uh, so Russell 2000 is right now the index that is um, showing some weakness however this reaction is highly expected so mm, this target of 21.39 is mm, one of the one that should be respected. In terms of trade uh, area, however, I do expect still this uh, index to get even lower, even lower below uh, this recent candle of 29th of January. Uh, so, um, if you'd like to put um, this um, trade area box, that uh, may get us even to areas of 2064. So, um, in these terms, I do find uh, the good entrance may be, may be uh, still around, around those boundaries being set at 2070 from the upside and uh, around uh, 2064 from the downside all right so mm, that's it in today's uh, video mm, uh, remember about not putting on a trade more than you afford to mm, uh, lose and if you enjoyed the video just hit the mm, uh, like button and if you mm, find my content interesting just um, um, consider subscription thank you very much and see you tomorrow